In this video, I wanted to focus on some of the editing tools. So first and foremost, let's go ahead here and let's start with the arrow tool, which is, I would say, the main tool in Studio One when you're working. Now, one thing I wanna point out really quickly is this function over here, if we hover our cursor just to the left, range tool in upper event area. Let's just go ahead and make sure that it's deselected for now. So we're just talking about the arrow tool and we can go over the basic functions of the arrow tool. Okay, so first off, anybody who's coming from a DAW such as Logic Pro, you'll feel really familiar with this tool because essentially what this allows you to do is make highlighted selections. We can do this by dragging across or we can do this by dragging down and across. And essentially what happens is we're able to highlight events. Now in Studio One, regardless of whether you're working with MIDI or audio, anything that contains any information such as audio or note data, which is essentially MIDI data in other DAW terminology, that can be selected with the arrow tool. Now, once you make these selections, for example, like this, you can go ahead and you can drag these audio events or for example, a MIDI event like this, you can drag it around to different locations. Now, another thing that I wanna point out is that we have some modifier keys that we can use for basic editing. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and make a copy of something, this MIDI event, for example, I could hold down my Alt or Option key and I could drag and you see that we have that plus icon which is indicating that we're making copies, just like that. So that's one way that you can edit. And of course, you can lasso select multiple events to do any editing. So for example, I just selected three events over there. Now I could do the same thing with my audio. So for example, I could select all of these by dragging across and then I could hold down my Alt or Option key and I could basically duplicate this pattern over here so that we're duplicating these exact three audio events. I could select individual events. I can hold down shift and I could select non-contiguous events. Now in other DAWs, when you hold down shift, a lot of the time it will select everything in between, but it's worth mentioning that in Studio One, that's a little bit different. So like I said, very simple and easy way to make selections across here by using our arrow tool, and then we can do some basic editing techniques. Now, in addition to that, I'm just gonna go ahead, let's just drag this bottom area of this track over here to increase the height over here. You'll also notice that depending on where we have our cursor placed, we have some different options. So for example, over here in the top boundary in the corner of the audio event, I've got an option to create an audio fade over here. I can drag this handle. In addition to that, if I hover my cursor where the fade is, I can also change the curve type. So this is something that we can do with the arrow tool. Now, if I hover just at the edge of the audio event, I can trim the audio event and it's only gonna go as far as the audio event is. So for example, let's take these two. We'll delete them for now. I can drag this all the way back over here. Maybe I wanna reposition this manually to right over here. I can adjust this. I'm adjusting the fade and then I can adjust the fade type, the curve. We've got a really nice graphical representation that updates in real time as we adjust this curve. Last but not least, we have this little area, this little square at the very top of our audio events that we can basically adjust. And this is adjusting the actual gain of the audio event. And now this is going to be pre-fader. If you keep an eye on the inspector section over here, we have this very bottom section which we can dynamically expand if I expand this to show the information over here, you notice here that we have information as to our fade in, our fade out. You can see it's updating there in real time. In addition to that, we also have this information over here as we change the gain. So this is the main tool in Studio One, the arrow tool, really, really useful and it allows you to do some basic things. One other thing I wanna point out before we move on is that depending on whether you have your snap settings, toggle snap enabled or disabled, you may notice that for example, let's change our quantize value for our grid settings to a whole bar. You may notice that it will kind of magnetically snap to these grid settings as we're dragging across and it will gradually include new audio events as you do that. You can see right over here, this little snap that happens. So I typically like to leave this in a 16th note and sometimes if I really need a lot of control, I'll just temporarily disable that so I can drag up and down across all these different events. 
And one other thing worth mentioning is that if you already have some events that have been selected, by holding down shift, we can include other events into our selection, either by lasso dragging or simply by clicking these different events. So that's the arrow tool, which is the main editing tool that we have available in Studio One. And also keep in mind, that is without this option enabled. We're gonna look at this in a subsequent video. But in the next video, let's go ahead and take a look at edit groups. And also let's take a little further look at the snapping modes in Studio One. So we'll catch you for more in the next video.